Hey everyone, this is Andrew from the First Fred Lessons and today we are going to play Dirty Old Town, great Irish tune. This is a great song for beginners, it has only four simple chords and the strumming isn't that hard. However, this lesson will be a bit different. I'm going to show you how to play the main vocal melody and we are going to combine it with our chords. As you heard in the intro, it sounds really great. If you like this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our channel and let's go. Okay, let's start with our strumming pattern. We start on the G chord and what you do is basically It's really simple. First you play bass and then strum down on the high strings. Bass again and up, down, up. Play it loosely, don't... Don't try to play like this. Okay, uh, let's see what chords do we have here. G Then we go in a C by the old G Still G on the factory wall G Dirty old D Dirty old E minor That's it, really simple you play the G chord for the most of the time. Now let me show you the main melody vocal line. We are using the G major note here, basically that's it. You know, they are all in this position, basically open strings and second and the third frets. So. Here in the end you can you can play like this or you can do a hammer on if you want to spice it up. And the same thing with uh, the last part. You can play just a regular note or however you like, doesn't really matter. So what are we going to do? We are going to combine both of these parts and here is how it sounds. One thing to keep in mind, our strumming pattern starts, you know, on one, two, three, four, one, on the downbeat on one. Here, one. We can't play the bass of the chord. So what we do, we skip the bass and then play the rest of the pattern. If I was playing with my fingers, it would be something like this. That's why I'm playing with the pick, so... You play the bass then. One more time. And the same thing will apply basically to each and every lick. This note is also the first downbeat. However, what I like to do is do this. It's an open first string and if I'm playing the C major, it includes this note. Uh, so you got two options here, play like this. Be sure to you now rake this chord and accent 
this first string. And also on the C chord we change our basses. We play 5, 6 string, 3rd fret on the 6th string. This is how it goes. Then as I told you before, we are playing this G chords almost all of the time. So uh, you can play these licks uh, without uh, lifting your fingers. Uh, don't play it like this. And you know, put them back again. Uh, there's no reason to do that. Just keep most of your fingers in place. Of course, if you feel uncomfortable holding this chord, you can lift them and play like this. Doesn't really matter. Just something to consider. And go into the D chord here. On the D chord we got 4th and 3rd string is our bass notes here. So we skip the first bass and then So this is basically it. You know, it's really simple. Simple chords, simple melody. Uh, you don't have crazy slides, bands, fast licks, nothing like that. And uh, you can arrange almost any folk, country, blues song like this. This lesson is an example how you can do it. So let me play everything from top to bottom slowly. Of course, if you are singing and playing at the same time, you don't have to play, you know, this melody the whole time. You can just strum the chords, uh, sing a couple of verses and then play this thing. It may be a solo in your arrangement. One, two, three, four, one. Enjoy.